Kehle Chepape Mahato, a 26-year-old visual artist raised in Mahotopong village outside Polokwane in Limpopo. You're making me work this morning, hey? <laughs> <laughs> Having vowed to provide mentorship to aspiring young artists, uh, he started Samantole Creative Projects and Workshops. Now, this initiative aims at providing and exchanging art skills and creative ideas to the youth in the rural communities across the country. Well, he joins us in studio now. Uh, he, of course, is a visual artist and uh, the founder of these wonderful creative projects and workshops. Uh, like, good to have you. Welcome to the program. Thank you so much. I hope I'm doing your name justice. Yes. I Did mean, I do okay? Yeah, you All pronounce right. it well. Kind of, kind of. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about this initiative. Okay. Uh, Samantola Creative Projects and Workshops is an initiative that is, uh, I started it in 2010. It's a rural-based community art organization. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it aims at giving art education and basic skills to rural uh, communities where I, I, I identify them and I recruit young people from the identified location and I, I invite them to attend a week-long workshop. So in these uh, workshops, what we're doing is that we are, we are teaching these young people art, basic skills of art, drawing, yeah. painting. Mm -hmm. We do tie and dye. We also do book binding as well. Yeah. And at some stage, we also do a poetry session or like a sort of a book club where I gather them around and we read a particular poem and we start discussing about it. Fantastic. I mean, we're seeing some of the pieces on screen at the moment. And I mean, these are, these are talented young artists. I mean, talk to me about something like that. Okay. Uh, this piece is from my uh, my second solo exhibition. But this it was is not yours? Yes. So this my. is one of your pieces? This is one of my pieces. Beautiful. It's from a series called Offense. Okay. So here I'm talking about, I'm looking into the, the lives of the orphans, of, 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 of the people who died in yeah. Marikana. Okay. So it's an it's a, an orphan series. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Let's go into another picture there. All right. So this is your and this is one of yours as well. Yes. So tell me about this one. This one is from a series of executives. So in the show, I was looking at uh, different segments of uh, what transpired in Marikana. Yeah. So I was looking at uh, the executives, the widows, the orphans, and uh, there is this other piece. Uh, Called this one, is called is is from the whirlwind uh, whirlwind series. Yeah. So here I'm talking about the voices because I went to Marikana in in in, in February. Yeah. As part of research on on my work, and uh, when I was walking on the on the ground where these people were 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 were, were killed, mm. I I then had some voices that uh, were shouting to me like or talking to me, but I couldn't comprehend the actual meaning or the actual uh, message that they were trying to put across, but they were like voices. Then it, trans it inspired this uh, series and the second solo show, which was called Voices from the Kopi. Imagine. So I wanted to understand the meaning and what the voices were saying to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, this is, this is looking at your work, and I mean, your work is, is absolutely phenomenal. Um, here's another one, obviously, again, influenced by Marikana, one of the miners over there. Yes. So, so this is your work, but you have really taken upon yourself to give back. Yes. Which is, which is, is really, uh, it's commendable. And I mean, I think Thank that you. that's absolutely fantastic. So why? Why have you decided to do this initiative? Uh, Leon, I was brought up by a community. And uh, as I grow up, I, I, I believe that I owe it to the community to be where I am yeah. and to have achieved whatever little that I've achieved. So me uh, giving back to, to the community in a form of, it's not only giving back, because when I teach, when I do workshops, I'm, I'm learning in the process because I'm, I'm working with different individuals. They are young, but they, there are things that they know uh, uh, that I do not know. So in a, in a process, I learn. So... I, I, I'm, I'm somebody who's uh, very passionate about community development. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that, that has inspired me to start Samantole. And uh, so far we, we've had four, uh, three annual workshops and I'm going to do another one uh, in Tanin 
yeah. in Zanin in Popo from the 8th to the 12th. Mm. So um, um, I, I love youth. I believe Amazing. that is some uh, youth are a group of people that we need to tap into and, and invest uh, more on, on, the, on their future. And how are you doing? I mean, in terms of this, this, this wonderful work that you are putting out, how are you doing? Um, I'm, I'm doing well because uh, within a group you can identify people who, who have talent mm. and, and, and then you can follow. After the workshop you can then have their contact details, keep in touch with them, talk to them about what, how they're doing and how their art is going. And when I go back to Limpopo sometime, I, I would meet with them. They will show me their progress and we can start talking from there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That, that's the village. But getting back to the original question, how yeah. are you doing? I mean, in terms of your career with these wonderful works that you're putting out, and I believe that you're also studying journalism at the same time of doing art. So talk to me about yourself because I know that you're giving back now which is where I'm leading okay. up to but just okay. how are you doing in terms of your your development your career in terms of my art career I am doing well because uh, I I'm very blessed to have people uh, my senior artists yeah. be mentoring me Excellent. so I was privileged to, 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 to be a friend and a mentee of the likes of Peter Clark, uh, William Kendridge, wow. Judith Mason, Lucas Nguyen, David Kolwani, you name them. You've so, worked alongside them and they've mentored you. They've mentored me. Like recently, I, I've sent Judith Mason uh, my work yeah. uh, that was part of the show. So she took her time to actually commend on each and every piece. Wow. So to me, it, it gives me confidence that, uh, you know what, the career path that you've chosen, it, it's, a, it's a good career path. Fantastic. So um, I think I'm doing well in that. I'm in that, so in happy that, for you. That that, that's good to know because, um, and, and I think that that's possibly at the root of why you feel you need to give back. You've exactly. been given so much and you need to give back. Exactly. When I come to Jobek uh, in 2008, yeah. I met people who were very willing to mentor me, to, to, to let me grow, to allow me to grow. People like Mike Alfred, who mentored me by, with my poetry. People like Anne Gordon, who like, she mentored me in different phases of, 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 of my career and my, 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 my idea of starting Samantole. Actually, she's the one who, is, who encouraged me to actually uh, Nacha Samantole. Yeah. Because I came up with this idea and she said, okay, cool, now I want to challenge you. Draw a budget for this so that you can fundraise. I didn't know anything about budget. So then I had to go to my table and draft a budget, go back to her and she'd say, okay, cool, this you did it wrong, this you did it right, so do this do it this way. Yeah. So in a way, I've been growing in that, in that process. Well, we wish you the best of luck and you just keep growing from strength to strength because your work is absolutely phenomenal. It really is. I mean, you've got, you've got a talent that, uh, that is very hard to come by and I wish you all the best. Thank I'd love you. to see your arts hanging in the major galleries around the world, which they definitely deserve, alongside the likes of William Kentridge. Um, <laughs> and good so luck much. to all of your students that, you, that you're mentoring and you're helping along the way. Um, it's just so lovely. It's such a nice story. From the, uh, did, tell me now, it's um, Makoto Pong Village. Is that right? Yes. Okay. It's Makoto Pong Village. Makoto Pong Village outside Polokwane and Limpopo. That's, that's your home, yeah, your that's home, my village. home village. And uh, you've done a great job there. Uh, Kehla Chipape Mahato, who is the founder of Samantole Creative Projects and Workshops and also a wonderful artist here in South Africa. You know, it's reminding me of a story that I came across yesterday, which is something that I was looking at. It was a, it's a Chinese businessman who, who made so much money. He's become excep exceptionally successful. And what he did is he went back to the village that he originally grew up and came from. And actually what he did was he bashed down the kind of the, the huts, the makeshift houses that were there. He bashed them all down and he built these state-of-the-art condos for absolutely everybody that's living there. And if you could see what that village looks like compared to what it did look like, it was one of the most amazing pictures and amazing stories I've ever learned of, of somebody who came from somewhere, never forgot his roots, went back 
and plowed his good doing back into that village. I mean, that was just a beautiful story. I'll try and find it. It's a really, really nice one. All right, let's, uh, let's take a break here on Morning Live. We've got some weather and we've got Double HP and the, the rest of his gang still in studio with us. Oh, such a nice guy. Stay tuned, everyone. We'll